Hey guys, today we are going to draw a fish using basic shapes. So starting with an oval, this will be the body of the fish. And then we're gonna use a triangle shape for the mouth. And this is actually a cutout, which means I'm going to erase the edge of it and leave the triangle shape. Next, for the eye, I draw a circle, the little circle in it, and if you wanna highlight, an even smaller circle. To section off the body, I do a big C curve. And for the tail, I'm going to do two diagonal lines like a triangle and connect with a wavy line. I'm going to add a few little lines in the tail and add a fin. Now yours does not have to look exactly like mine. Design it the way you like. For the fin, I make a U shape and I'm going to erase this line where it overlaps. Now, if I'm going too fast, please pause the video. You can go back and play it again at your own pace. Now, I'm going to add some scales, just like rainbow fish and all fish. And to do that, I'm going to make some curves in a backward C. Now, notice that I'm putting each scale in between the two scales that I did before. This is kind of a window pattern. I'm gonna add three little lines here in the fin. Now I'm going to continue my scale pattern all the way until it fills up the body. When I color it in, I'm going to make this into a rainbow fish. So I'll color each of these scales different rainbow colors. Now that I've done my scales, I'm going to add a few more line details and then I'm going to add some bubbles. Now I'm doing a few different sizes of circles and a little curved line in there for that reflection line. Now that I've finished my drawing in pencil, I'm going to go back with a Sharpie marker and you can use any kind of marker that you have at home and I'm going to outline it. Outlining pencil really makes the detail nice and final and it really helps when you color in to not lose these lines that you've worked so hard to do. And again, if you don't have a permanent marker like a Sharpie at home, you can use washable markers or any sort of markers that you have. Okay, now that I've finished outlining, I'm going to take my eraser and erase any pencil marks that I may have left behind. If you noticed, I missed a lot of pencil marks because I decided to really refine my lines as I went over and traced. Now this step that I always do with my drawings is called trace and erase. The final step is to color our fish. I'm using construction paper crayons. Um, you can use any crayons you have at home, markers. You can even paint this with watercolors if you have them. Your choice. Now when you color, you wanna take your time, do a good job and really fill in all of the areas. Try not to leave those messy white marks. Something I like to do when I color is to use two similar colors together, one lighter and one darker, to add a little texture or shading to it. Next, to fill in the scales, I'm going to use a variety of different colors to make mine a rainbow fish.
The last step is to color in the bubbles. Notice that I use my blue to outline the inside of the bubble with a little blue and gently shade part of it, leaving a center dot white. This is called a reflection and makes it look more three-dimensional. All right, I hope your fish is looking great. And remember, it doesn't have to look like mine. Thanks for following along.